Here we are today talking to Doris Shetler, and we're going to ask her some questions about life on Long Island and how it was in the past. Doris, did you ever go into the city? Oh, yes. Before I got married, uh, my, as I said, my mother liked to, uh, I mentioned in the past how my mother used to like to see New York shows and plays, and we used to take the train into New York and see many of the popular Broadway shows at that time. And we go to the to the parks and the zoos. Tell us about your father's work. Well, my father was uh, an exceptional baker. He worked for famous bakery on Long Island, named George's. You may have heard of it. They, well, first of all, let me give you a little background. My father was born in Europe. He was trained in Europe, and he was an excellent baker. He made wonderful cakes, and when he came to this country, he made things that the bakers here never heard of, didn't know how to make. And so he got, he worked for George's, a very famous bakery on Long Island. And people used to come from all over just to get his special cakes because, as I said, they couldn't get them anywhere else. And so he brought a lot of business to George's Bakery on Long Island, and it became quite famous. So, that was the story of his... And, oh, and I should mention that at home, he used to make a lot of things, a lot of his cakes and things at home. And I remember as a child, how he used to, he was, he was also a cake decorator, and he would make all the fancy wedding cakes at George's. And when he made cakes at home, we children, I had two sisters, we were very happy to watch him, and he would make, with, with the cream, he, he would make finger, little cakes, little flowers on our fingertips. And as children, of course, we would lick them off, and <laughs> that was delightful. And he also made wonderful apple strudel. And I remember when he'd make apple strudel, he would clear off the dining room table, and he would uh, put a clean cloth down, he'd sprinkle flour all over it, and then he would roll out dough on the dining room table and put rows and rows of apples and cinnamon and sugar. That's how he made the apple strudel. Then he would roll it up and he would cut pieces and put them in the cake pans and he would make apple strudel that way. And then he would also make, make bread, wonderful bread that you can't buy in the bakeries here. And he would hang them up to preserve them. He would hang them up my mother would have a, a drapes from the dining room into the living room, and he would hang hang the hang the hang the uh, the, uh, the the bread on that hanger where my mother had the drapes, and it would last. It would last uh, for a long time, and that bread. I mean, I still remember how delicious that was. One slice buttered would would be like a meal to us. It was delicious. And then what else we had? We always had fresh, fresh eggs because we had a, a big chicken coop on our property and lots of chickens. And my grandfather, who was alive at that time, he would kill the chicken every now and then. And my mother would make chicken soup or roast chicken. And I know I grew up during the Depression, and I remember we always had food in the house. My mother was a pretty good cook, and she was always cooking. And those days, a lot of the women, like today, they go to work, but in those days, most women stayed home. And they were busy around the house, cooking, cleaning, a lot of women sewed in those days. 
And my grandfather, who was alive, uh, was very busy around the house. My father was very good sewing. He made a lot of his own trousers and vests. What kind of work did your grandfather do? My grandfather, when he was young, he was, he was a traveling merchant. And he traveled to many places, amongst them Europe, uh, England. He was born in England. He traveled to, to South America. He traveled to Australia. And uh, he used to tell us many interesting stories <laughs> between my grandfather and my father, who was born in Yugoslavia. <laughs> the house, we didn't have television, but that didn't matter to us kids because between my father and grandfather, we were always hearing stories, stories of, of how things used to be when they were children growing up and, and uh, you know, uh, stories that we heard firsthand, true stories, they weren't ch fictional stories like the kids today see on television, but uh, it was very interesting. We were always busy and of course... What kind of products did he sell? Who? Your grandfather. What did he sell? Well... You said he was a traveling merchant. Well, yes, but, but he didn't... He, I don't know. I was too young. I, 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 was, I was just a young child then. But he told us stories about these faraway places. And uh, we were fascinated as children. We were always wide-eyed listening to his stories. Mm -hmm. And my father was born in Yugoslavia, came to this country when he was in his early 20s. And I guess things were hard in Europe at that time. It was difficult to find work. So he came to this country and he got a job in George's pastry shop. And. Uh, he brought his trade with him. He was able to make many things, as I said, that the bakers here didn't know how to make, and so he brought a lot of business to George's Pastry Shop, which was very good. And he brought a lot of his things at home, and we children loved, we, <laughs> in the, during the Depression, when things were hard to get, one thing we always had was pastry and cakes. <laughs> And he also was able to make candy. He also made candy in his shop. And uh, of course, we, we like that very much too. So, uh, as I said, we had chickens and we also had a goat. My older sister used to milk the goat. I myself didn't care much for goat's milk, but my father liked it very much. And uh, little by little, you know, we're, we got rid of the goat and it got hard to take care of the farm. My grandfather had passed away and my father was always busy. And my mother uh, was busy in those days. They didn't freeze food like they, they do today. So whatever my m mother made, we had to we had to make sure we ate, so we had plenty of food. We always, I never remember going hungry as a child, even though there was a depression going on. So, gradually, um, this country, you know, went to war, as I said, it was a war going on, and things were scarce. I remember oil, gasoline used to be rationed and uh, we had to have stamps. We had stamps, stamp books for food, stamp books for gasoline. <laughs> and uh, so that was the story of my growing up on Long Island. It was interesting, but at times difficult. <laughs>